The attack in Nice, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, where terrorism has uh, restarted as COVID-19 begins to fade. Uh, stick around. We're going to talk about the new attacks in Nice tonight on the Report from Tiger Mountain. Hang around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're going to talk about the uh, attacks, the recent attacks in Nice, uh, and uh, the uh, it's not nice in Nice. I think will be the title of this video. Um, you know, due to the uh, once again, obviously France has had a huge um, problem with um, uh, Muslim, Arab, and Islamic terrorism um, that's uh, been ongoing for many, many years. Obviously, um, the French. Um, Colonies were often in many of these countries, so in a sense they had a kind of um, a jet stream even before the you know radical kind of you know multicultural and diverse agenda of the last twenty or thirty years. They had a lot of um, they had people from the Muslim community who were already there from Algeria and countries like this. So uh, it was always a country that had a, at least a certain percent, ten percent, I think, before nineteen ninety of the population was um, from um, Muslim, the Muslim Arab world. So in a sense, it was a kind of place. Um, that became a kind of beacon, I think, to those kind of immigrants who came to Europe. And obviously, with the last 20, 30 years, and particularly in the last 15 years, um, there's just been a huge um, influx of, of immigrants from the uh, you know, African Muslim world and from the Middle East Muslim world and Arab world. And um, obviously, there was a, a, an attack in Nice the other day. A, a woman was beheaded. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously, the attacker screamed, Alu Akbar, uh, as the woman was being beheaded, and um, you know the media said we're not sure of what the motivation was. Um, you know, I saw Gona Akbar is sitting there going, drumming his fingers. What could it be? You know, I mean, obviously we know what it is, and this is an ongoing um, problem for France. And obviously, uh, obviously during COVID, this kind of unrest has, to some extent, you know, quietened down because everyone has gone into uh, isolation to some extent. But as we see the COVID crisis slipping uh, as the election of Donald Trump uh, approaches, uh, we see terrorism beginning to reawaken. And, uh, you know, it's quite connected too to foreign bodies. Um, you know, diversity has always been a suspicious agenda when it's been, uh, it's, it's always essentially... Uh, it's essentially an invasion. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, and obviously, whoever manages to get the most people into a country from whatever community, whether it be, say, in France, say, the Muslim um, uh, Arab world, um, and, and in Australia, it might be the Asian community, but whatever country gets the largest um, kind, you know, uh, kind of immigrant population, then they, they have a claim to almost uh, to overthrow that particular government. You know what I mean? And uh, you can see um, that's going to... Uh, there is an attempt for a kind of um, almost uh, Islamic France uh, is beginning to rear its head. Obviously, the uh, famous um, French author, Michel Welbeck, who I'm a huge fan of, I've got every book by Michel Welbeck, and I've been a huge uh, fan of his work right back to the early days, and, and works like uh, Platform and, and things like this that are really fantastic, you should read. And um, he wrote a book called Submission, which is about, ha uh, set. I think it's set, it's set around now or five years into the future from now, and it's about... Um, uh, there's a candidate, Marine Le Pen is facing off against a kind of a Muslim um, kind of candidate and he, he wins the election and uh, uh, France becomes uh, is Islamic. And then all women have to uh, wear the veil and many Jewish people who live in France have to leave and go to Israel. I mean, this is almost, you know, this is no longer science fiction, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the war. I mean, this is what, you know, this kind of radical diversity and multicultural agenda gender really brings you. It's not a strength. It's it's a kind of silent invasion. It's a silent way uh, of overthrowing a country. It might take 20 or 30 years. It might take 50 or 60. But eventually, uh, through demographics and through, uh, you know, these kind of terrorist acts, you begin to slowly see a country like France begin to be overturned. Now, France is at a turning point. Um, Macron recently came out and... Um, and he made a bold statement, one of the first times a globalist has come out against, uh, you know, the Islamic and the Muslim kind of influx into Europe. He made a big, bold statement yesterday the other day. So we're beginning to even maybe see some of the globalists uh, turning against this uh, um, radical Islamic agenda. And, of course, this might be part of the plan, ladies and gentlemen, because you've always got to remember with globalists, chaos is the plan. So, first of all, they set up the situation that creates the chaos, and then they fire the flames. So it's not going to surprise me at all if the globalists side with the politics of the new right, the politics of, you know, the, the many of us uh, on the new right, the politics of the report from Tiger Mountain, even, it would not surprise me. Uh, and you see this happening, um, you know, Ben Shapiro and uh, through uh, Joe Rogan and through many people, uh, you begin to see this happening, um, where, you know, 
the globalist influence begins to infiltrate our own politics here on the new right and uh, the dissident right and stuff. So this is very, very interesting time. So the attacks in France um, are very disturbing and, you know, and obviously you've got like Erdogan over in, in Turkey. Uh, he's fanning the flames and he's also got many um, like what you call camps and stuff that we've got holding immigrants. He can just release those onto Europe anytime he likes. And these can destroy many uh, European countries from Greece all the way across to France and obviously into the UK even. So it's a tremendous crisis and there's a clash of civilizations. And I think when COVID does finally fade away, which it appears to be doing a bit, hopefully, because we're sick to death of that. And we're going to see this kind of, um, you know, clash of civilizations between Christianity and Islam um, ramp up because that uh, just makes sense, you know, according to the globalist picture of destabilization. And uh, we have to handle the situation very, um, very smartly. And uh, I just wanted you all to think about that. And um, it's not nice and nice, ladies and gentlemen. It's self-inflicted destabilization. The report from Tiger Mountain.